Hi, it's Michaela. I'm doing a Dutch pour today. Actually, this is a mini Dutch pour. It's only six inches square. Because I'm trying out a color scheme that I wasn't sure if it would work. So this is Prussian blue. This next color is grayish blue. These are all Amsterdam. Followed by turquoise green. This is Windsor Violet. So I test colors on these little canvases because um, I'm gonna say it again, to me it's, it's always a lot of paint with these pores. So um, I was fumbling there trying to decide. I ended up using the grayish blue again. Little drops there. But um, I had a little glob of paint in there to fish it out. So this is Windsor Newton Gold. And um, turquoise green again. So I'm just layering a bunch of colors. Sorry, this is the gold. The last one was Amsterdam's bronze. It's hard to tell in the video. But um, I have no idea how these are going to turn out when I do them. And because the background is an actual color, it's you know paints that I have to order that I don't have so much of. And that's why I do it on these small canvases. But it's super fun. So there I did my swipe with my blow dryer. Torch. And tons of cells popped up. So super happy and then I just did a gentle swipe with the blow dryer um, there didn't seem to be paint under certain areas so um, this is what I ended up with and then of course I I kind of do my little work on it to tweak the composition and I had to cut out some parts where it's you would just see my head of me you know, blowing on certain parts of the painting, so I just cut those out, because you're not really, yeah, obviously there's nothing you can see, so. Here I, I tilt it, because there were all these gorgeous cells that were kind of coming off the edge, so I'm able to center um, those effects a little more with on the canvas. And then I always look at the details, so I go for the overall look that to me is pleasing and then I, I find some little details that maybe bug me or, and th this is just me, I know there's people that think, oh, you should have just left, you know, what you had, <laughs> and so that's what you guys can do when you do your paintings, but, um, and to me, it's the fun part, is being able to add details. Like if it's just a couple minutes with the blow dryer, that to me is not really fun. So I like doing my tweaks. And here I used a skewer to add just a little line of paint. I felt like something was missing there. I don't know if you can hear my bird whistling in the background, but he's really loud and it's too windy to put him outside today. <laughs> uh, now the other birds are going nuts. Uh, hopefully you don't hear too much of it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one zoom so gorgeous effects with the colors in the end gorgeous cells and I'm on to the next one so this one I start again with the grayish blue but then I add sky blue light this is Windsor 
gold and this is Amsterdam permanent red violet I think that's the color name I'll put it in the description back to the gray again grayish blue and the sky blue again and then here is Amsterdam bronze and some more gold and Prussian blue again it's the background quick swipe of cells I'm really liking these cell effects on these last paintings I've been doing and then I love the, the way it blew out soft and this one I I did almost nothing as far as tweaking it it's like the perfect pour in my mind <laughs> Another zoom, freshly poured. That's, love seeing them like this. And I'll be back with show you how they look today. So here is the painting today, or paintings. And these videos are not edited for color. These are the true colors in the sunlight. So I just love how vibrant these turned out. They're just gorgeous. The paint flow over the edges is like practically perfect. And um, the cells, you know, they didn't disappear. They held their shape. I did remove a couple of big globs of cells that I didn't like. Um, but other than that, they're, you know, Pretty unchanged from when they were wet and I will put a high gloss varnish on them hopefully bringing out the Prussian blue back background a bit more so um, they'll change a little bit and I'll show those results um, probably in a future video or on my Instagram so hope you enjoyed this please subscribe if you haven't and press the like button of course thanks for watching bye